Hey you guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, October 27th. It is 7.33 a.m. I hope you guys are having an amazing morning today. Um, it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Hey, ho, hey, ho. Thankful Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is out. Um, it's a little gloomy, but the sun is out. Much brighter than it was yesterday, as you can see <laughs> in the room. It's much, much brighter. Um, hope you guys slept well. I did okay. <laughs> mm, I was up mostly all night long. Um, when I got out of the bath yesterday and you know when I got through studying um, I tried to work on videos um, editing some videos and I just had the most difficult time um, I put up a video of Chapo and his new bed but I'm gonna eventually take it down and replace it because the one that I wanted to put up was so much funnier but I couldn't get it to um, upload and I'm just gonna have to do some research on that other channel um, so I can figure out how to do things as far as duration and ad and you know stuff like that move move kitty move go yeah <laughs> y'all in the way um, I also uh, did a video I don't know if I put it up though um, I wanted to add music to it. It's a video with me in the chair working with this nut. Then jumped in the chair behind me on my back while I'm sitting there working. He's on my back chewing and playing with my hair. <laughs> um, so, but like I said, the site that I was using just not, I, just wasn't allowing me. Well, it wasn't that it wasn't allowing me. I don't know how to add certain things, right? And then my old site, because I have to pay the bill, um, it started off free and it let you do so much, right? Which I'm cool with. But now, it, it now because I've been paying, it don't even want to do that. It just wants me to keep paying, which sucks. Like you said, you're free, you're free. You know, to do so much, obviously. So that's frustrating. Um, and then what else? I forgot what I was going to say, y'all. Oh, Lord. <coughs> The coughing is a lot better. I think the prednisone is starting to work. Well, has been working. It's working more. <coughs> um, I think I started coughing right there because I bit my neck a certain way. <laughs> Fat neck. Um, but it is working a bit better. Uh, when I got through studying last night, like I said, I you know, worked on the videos a bit. Um, there was really nothing to watch on TV as always. Um, I ended up watching Mega Mind, um, mostly listening to it, and then um, listening to Charlotte's Web. <laughs> that was the next picture that came up. I didn't change it, nor did I turn it off. I pretty much just laid there and listened to it. I just couldn't sleep. Um, as always, my mind was racing. I was tired for sure, and I wanted to go to sleep. My mind was just racing. Um, but, you know, I just laid there and, and, until eventually I fell asleep. And, um, and then I woke up at just a little bit before 7. Um, laid there and said my prayers. And then got on up and proceeded to get ready for my day. Um, so I have my coffee. I did when I got off work. <laughs> Ran to get my to the dollar store. I had to get some coffee. I had to. I had to get some coffee um and the one that i got is similar to the one that i got from all these the last time that i mentioned wasn't the best and so i'm hoping that this isn't the same brand um the only thing i don't like is i have to put so much of it to make it strong you know to break it the way i like it so this morning i was like i'm gonna try not to you know just keep 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 that's how I go through it so fast and I was going to get the, the bags that I usually get um, because they're really good different flavors um, but I was like mm, this probably will last a little bit longer um, so yeah I am definitely gonna um, get me some Folgers or something like that or Maxwell those are the best ones to be honest um, Dunkin Donuts oh my god 
um, Starbucks. Um, there was a place I used to go to uh, called um, Caribou. They're really good as well. Oh my God, Caribou is really good. I don't even know if there's still a Caribou out there. I think there is. Their coffee is amazing. Um, Man, I remember having to get on the bus and go to work in Glenview. And I would, when I get off the bus, I would walk down to Caribou. Woo, give me a cup of coffee. Delightful. <laughs> Delightful. Um, so, yeah. God is good. I say it every morning. And I'm going to say it every morning, y'all, because God is. Got to give him his glory. Got to give him his praise. Um, so rightfully do because he keeps us, protects us, and watches us, and loves us. You know, blesses us constantly. Even in our sleep, we don't even know how he's watching over us, you know. Um, so I have to give him that praise. I have to give it to him. I'm so grateful. <laughs> oh, so grateful. Um, let's see here. Yesterday when I was coming out of the dollar store, um, this older guy, a uh, black guy, held the door. And I was like, thank you. He was like, you're welcome. He was like, have a good day. He's like, make sure to put on that seatbelt. And I always put on my seatbelt, sometimes not right away. But I was like, oh, definitely. And for a minute, I was like, Lord, is that a sign something to happen? <laughs> Again, that goes back to your man, right? You know, I used to sit up and think about when people pass away, right? They just normal, everyday life, get up, nothing's wrong. And then all of a sudden, there's a car accident or uh, they just drop, you know. I always wonder, do they have any type of heads up do they feel any type of way like something's going to happen you know is there something unusual that takes place you know um that could have warned them about what was going to happen now obviously when it's your time it's your time it doesn't matter how warned you are or whatever when it's time when god says when god says go Go, 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 go. Well, he said, come on. It's, it's come on. There's nothing you can do about that, right? And, you know, it's just always was a little uh, scary for me in that sense. Just wondering, like, you know, like even with people that um, say get up and they play the lottery, right? Like, every day, no big deal. They're probably thinking, oh, just like yesterday, I'm not going in or whatever. They're just not thinking about it. Just go about their everyday life. And then you look at your ticket, boom. You the one, you know, thousands and millions of dollars, right? I always, always wondered about that and how that would feel, you know, to be able to just boom, <laughs> you know. I always wondered about that. Like, it's so weird. You know how you watch the movies and the person driving in the car and they talk and they have a conversation and all of a sudden the car comes from the um, other end just plows into them? Those type of things go on in my head sometime I'm not even gonna lie those are the type of things that go into my head um, a lot of times actually let me just be honest a lot of times um, hold on let's see okay I feel myself sneezing and coughing I got up this morning and um as I was getting ready, I found myself breathing all hard. I'm like, what am I breathing hard for? Okay, let's see. Today's message says, um, don't wait for things to get better. Life will always be complicated. Le learn to be happy right now otherwise you'll run out of time good morning that's beautiful in a second
All right, my nose, y'all. Give me a moment. Let me just go blow my nose. So runny all of a sudden. Right, went and got me a rag because um, I'm just going through so much tissue with my nose lately. Like it's ridiculous, so many rolls of tissue. <laughs> oh God, I apologize. I ap I apologize. I don't know if that's a song. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's song or not, but yeah. Decided to put on my some different glasses today. I haven't worn these in a while. They look crooked when I put them on, but I was like, oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um looks like I'm gonna be enrolling this morning. I'm watching the cat because he didn't jump up in the window and early this morning I had to run him up out of here because I'm laying there and I'm listening to him I'm like <laughs> if you don't get your tail the heck about my plant water stop playing with me Yeah, I have to say, the fall is one of my favorite seasons. It really is. I, I think it's so beautiful, the colors, the weather. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it really is. I don't know about anyone else. Let me know. Comment down below and tell me what's your favorite or one of your favorite seasons. I really do like the fall and summer. I, I do. Winter, I, I'm not a fan of at all. Winter and I, we just don't mesh. You know, as I've gotten older, um, I tolerate the, the weather a bit better, for sure. Um, I can't do the uh, heat uh, as much as I used to. Um, but, yeah, most definitely... I can tolerate it much, much better, but I prefer summer and fall. Summer, winter, I prefer summer, spring, and fall. Yeah, those I think would be my favorites. Let me know, what do y'all think? And why? Why? Fall, I just love the beautiful colors. Um, I love the, the fantasy. Get your butt on the wood! Oh my goodness, this kitty cat. Gosh, I swear he acts like he was raised in a shed somewhere running down his food. I, I just, I don't get it. I honestly don't get where his mind, like, ah. <laughs> and he's such a sweetie. He's such a um, lovable, passionate, affectionate cat. He really is. It's like he really needs your attention and your affection. You know, if, if you're not giving it to him, he's somewhere trying to get it. He really is. Like, he's very affectionate. <laughs> very affectionate. You know, sometimes you have to push him away a bit because, you know, you're trying to do things and he's just there. Like, you know, when it's, you know, nudging you like, rub me, touch me, play with me, hold me. And he'll sit on you. Like, you see me. <laughs> you're going to acknowledge me. But he's hilarious.
last night, y'all. <laughs> and prednisones had me so hungry. I, it was late. I was like, oh my God. So I ended up going in the kitchen and I heated up some rice and the corn and beans um, and the baked chicken. I heated it up and it was so good. I don't know if it was because the peels had me hungry, but it was so good. Um, and then I had a couple of cookies. <laughs> and uh, I had to text Jeremiah last night because I thought I grabbed the little goldfishies or Cheez-Its. But I grabbed some dang gold honey bears. Oh, God, trying to get in and out. They weren't bad, but they weren't what I went in there for. My schedule still isn't, hasn't, has not been updated. Yeah, it wasn't what I went in there for at all. At all. <laughs> it was like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> um, but, whatever, they weren't bad. You know, they weren't bad at all. What do you guys have planned for this weekend? It's supposed to be Swedish Day. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. And then after the doctor's appointment, um, I'll be going to the church get-together dinner. I'm actually looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. I've never eaten at the Cheese Factory before. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look it up and see what their menus are. Get a head start. Yep, I'm going to do that today. Look it up. Um, cause I'm truly, truly looking forward, um, looking forward to it. You know, the, it's, it's always fun when you get together with good people, you know, um, good men and women of God. It's always fun. You know, there's no gossiping. There's no, nothing. It's just love and, 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 and just get togetherness, you know, um, it's a wonderful feeling, you know. Sometimes when you have so much going on in your life as it already, um, and you don't need extra added on, it feels good, you know. It just feels good knowing that, yeah, this is going on, but today I don't have to think about it. You know, I shouldn't have to worry or think about it anyway if I trust and believe in my Heavenly Father, which I do. But sometimes, man, things just get tough. Tough. <laughs> they just get tough, you know. They get hard. <coughs> <coughs> and you just have to remind yourself, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <coughs> Nothing wrong with having to remind yourself, you know. Keep your head up. Do this, do that. You gotta keep your head up. Oh! Okay, what do I do? Let's see. Attention, girl. Because <laughs> prayers and promises for depression and anxiety. I haven't read this book for a while. So let's get into it today. Let's see, I marked where I left off at. And I left off at restoration. 
He has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. Since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. And and the place that they're speaking of is grace. Let us praise the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to help his people and has given them freedom. He has given us a powerful Savior. Yes, he has. Maker of heaven and earth, you set the stars in motion. You have created all things. You who created all things are the one who also fixes the broken. You see my brokenness, the areas that are filled with unhealthy coping mechanisms, pain, and regret. regret. You are only you are the only hope I have for change. I don't want to repeat the same cycles that perpetuate brokenness. Oh my eyes are blurring up. Come and restore all that has been lost. I receive your perfect love. I love your healing power. I welcome your healing power into my deepest pain and insecurity. I trust that the work you started in me, you will complete. Have your way, Lord. Have you experienced the power of restoration in your life? I believe I'm in the process of experiencing the power of restoration. I believe the Lord is working on me as we speak. believe I'm working on that as we speak. I truly do. I truly, truly do. The next one, you guys, will be reward. Okay, that'll be the next one that I read from here is reward. Yesterday I read, um, I studied about abundance in the Bible. I read, um, Let's see, yesterday, I read Matthew, I, I read quite a bit. Let's see, I read Psalms 52, 7, I read Matthew 12, 34, Matthew 13, 12, Matthew 12, 44, Luke 12, 15, Romans 5, 17, 2 Corinthians 12, 7. And of course I had to read, you know, um, and some of them I had to go to the beginning of the chapter, you know, all the way through, just to try to get a bit of an understanding. And I know the more I study, the more I seek, um, the better and easier it'll become for me. Um, it was quite difficult here and there with the wording. <clears throat> But, you know, um, a lot of what I got of, out of what I read was um, to basically not worry and to continue seeking and studying and wanting to get closer to God um, because he's going to take care of everything else. If he's taking care of the birds in the air, they eat, right? He's taking care of them. Why wouldn't he take care of you? Why wouldn't he take care of me, his child? Like we're all his sons and daughters in Christ. He created every and all, right? Ah, 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 ah. Come, come. No, no, <laughs> no. So if he's taking care of the fowls of the air, if he's taking care of the animals, they eat. Why would he do the same for us, right? Um, Jesus died. Right? He can't. The sins that Adam committed, Adam and Eve committed, right? Brought upon sin. One man brought upon sin. But then Jesus came. One man brought upon grace, right? So that that 
we're no longer under that dispensation. We're under his grace, right? He talked about, uh, I read about, <coughs> don't focus so much on uh, the riches um, and possession uh, possessions here. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, properties, you know, monies and, and um, things like that. You know, don't focus so much on that on that earthly stuff because you can't take it with you it's nothing you can do with that you cannot take it with you um focus on the heavenly um because that's where we're bound that's where we want to be that's where we're going you know the streets are paved in gold there's no more hunger no more none of that right um he talked about how um don't sit up and put up, you know, a man will tear down one house and rebuild and build a bigger house just to house all of his things, right? Just to house his money, his cars, his possessions, to his properties, just to house things and, and don't even do anything with it, just to have it, right? Just to set it up and hold it and have it, to look at it. It's not going to go with you. You can't take it with you. Take that stuff and... um Share with others. Do things with others. You know, um, love your, your fellow man. You know, things like that. You know, um, as you do better and, and you uh, come closer to God, God comes closer to you. Right? We want to be more like God. And when Jesus was down here, y'all, he wasn't walking around here with gold watches and, and gym shoes. The brand new gym shoes and the newest outfits and, you know, the newest cough, <laughs> the newest bag, you know, the newest hairstyles, that wasn't what he was down here doing, the baddest boats, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't what he was doing, uh, that wasn't what he was doing, he was down here trying to teach, he was down here saving, teaching, uh, protecting, you know, uh, they were asking Jesus, why do you speak in parables? And basically he speaks in parables because he's trying to speak in a way that to help you understand. Um, because a lot of us hear, we have ears, but we don't hear, right? Um, we see, we have eyes, but we don't see. We see what we want to see. We hear what we want to hear because we are not seeing. He can't speak to everybody because everybody wasn't meant to be saved. Everyone's not going to hell. I mean, to heaven. We know this. So there's going to be some people that you're going to speak to, even us in life, that we're going to come across. And they're just going to be so impossible. There's nothing that we can do to change that person you know um that change is going to have to come from within and that's if it's meant to be you know not everyone some people are just who they are it's nothing you can say or do about it you know um man it was just so much that i was reading and trying to retain you know um but the one thing for sure is it's always going to stay the same is continue to seek God, that which you won't seek after. I want to know more about God. I want to hear Him. I want to be in that heavenly place where I'm, I'm blessed. You know, the more praises go up, the more blessings come down. You know, and I want my blessings to trickle over and down and out and around so that I'm blessing others. You know, um, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for riches that I can sit up and party and just have and this that and other that by no means is what i'm looking for i never wish desire or want to be rich i just want to be in a position where i can do what i need and want to do when i want and need to do it so that i can help you know what i'm saying um not just myself but others that's what i'm looking for you know i want to be able to sing better um to praise god you know because that's all i have you know what i'm saying that's not the best but it's all I have. And I believe that when you sing it for God and you give Him the glory, the angels enjoy it. The angels stand around and they sing with me. And I believe that. Definitely going to have to nuke that coffee. <laughs> all right. Lord, it's me again. Okay. I haven't read this one in a while. Um, I had, I did go back. 
with this one all the way back um so today is the 17th obviously i have a lot of catching up to do and i want to stay consistent i really do i really need to learn to stay consistent so i'm going to put my marker here where i left off at because i'm going to pick up back there but i'm going to start here today <coughs> october 17th getting back hmm as for you, return, return to your God. Hold fast to love and justice and wait continually for your God. Sometimes we lose our way and lose sight of the passion we once felt for God. Once we've lost our connection with Him, we don't always know how to get it back. We wonder if there is too much between us that He can't overlook. But it's as simple as returning, as straightforward as getting down on your knees and saying, God, I'm back. When you return, holding fast to the love that first drew you to him, God will show himself to you. God, I know that there are areas of my life where I've put distance between myself and you. I don't want to continue with a disconnect between us. I want to return to you and be restored to right restore and I want to be restored to right uh, relationship. Thank you that even when I wandered you never went anywhere and that is so true God never goes anywhere he's still there um he's waiting on us right we're not waiting on him he's waiting on us he's he's forever present right he's always here he's in front of us behind us around us holding us loving us listening to us um he loves us. He's here. He's here. All we have to do is reach out. All we have to do is move forward. You know, if we mess up, Lord, I'm sorry. Get on your knees. Pray. Forgive me. You know, help me. Direct me. Guide me. Protect me. You know, help me keep my mind focused. You know, um, reach out to him. Knock. He shall answer. You know, the door will be opened unto you. Seek and you will find you know um but we have to seek him just like if we lose our glasses or or our money we got we looking we searching we need to look and search for god the same way we need to put the same effort and energy uh into uh god as we do everything else and that is something that it should not be so difficult but it is it really is because it's so hard for us to I think it's hard when you can't physically see certain things. You know, <clears throat> I know God is here and I know he's touching me and holding me. But sometimes, y'all, I, I wish I could feel it. You know, really, really feel it. But then guess what? If I could, I'd probably jump straight out. I'd probably die from fear. <laughs> you know, um, but God is real. He is so real. He is real. And he is love. He is joy. He is peace. Right? And I'm so, I'm so just grateful for it. Ooh. My eyes just keep blurring up. So I'm going to take y'all with me really quick while I go and uh, nuke my coffee a little bit because it's getting chilly. And then um, I'll check out for the morning. Pray that the work part of the day goes by fast. I always pray that. Doesn't mean that I'm not grateful for my job. I am truly grateful. <laughs> I look forward to the day when I can get up. I look forward to being able to retire. I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, you know, I don't want much. <laughs> I really don't. I just want a nice little place. It don't have to be super big. just have to be mine so I can do what I want with it. You know, a nice little place to sit and just live, love, and enjoy life. Enjoy my, my beautiful grandbabies. And just enjoy life. You know, life that the Lord has 
allowed me to live. <laughs> Do my best to help my brothers and sisters in Christ. Y'all remember to say your prayers, okay? Remember to say your prayers, not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but all our brothers and sisters. Every last one of them, somebody out there needs prayer. I know I do every day, every day. Pray for me. Um, and let's expect great things. I, I'm expecting great things to happen to me, through me, and for me today. I'm expecting the same for you. You know, I am. And most importantly, let's love with the love of God. Let's remember to love everyone, to treat everyone with kindness. You know, as much as we can, you know. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 60 degrees. Would mm. you also like tomorrow's weather? Um, yes, thank you. Tomorrow in Chicago, you'll see intermittent clouds and can expect a high of 68 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 53 degrees. Thank you. Okay, so tomorrow's weather be better than today. But today is not bad either. We'll definitely wash out something to wear tomorrow's donation day. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get in there and out quickly. So anyway guys, um, that concludes my morning conversation with you guys. Um, oh, one more thing I want to read. I want to read you guys um let's see <clears throat> what to read psalms 23 okay psalms 23 is a very powerful prayer you know um i want to start remembering to read this every morning okay it is indeed a powerful prayer. Okay. Oh, it is. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will feel no fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I wanted to read that and I want to read it every morning. I don't know it by heart. I probably should at this point, but I don't. I believe at one point I did know it by heart, but that disconnect, right? Um, so, oh, my eyes. Um, in reading this, this is a powerful prayer to me because it's so true. The Lord is our shepherd. Y'all know what a shepherd is. A shepherd is one who protects his sheep. We are God's sheep. We are his children. And he's protecting us. He's keeping us. When when he's he's helping direct us and guide us. You know, he lets us run and play and enjoy. Um but he's watching over us, you know. Uh, any hurt, harm, or danger comes, he protects us. He tries to uh, lead us down a path of safety. Um, don't mean we're not going to go through things. Not We're not going to go through storms. We're not going to get um, uh, lost or departed. But he's going, to, he's going to be there for us. He's going to find us, right? If one uh, sheep strays, he'll leave the flock and go and get that one and bring it back right um he's our shepherd because he's our shepherd we shall not want because he's providing everything he's taking care of us so there's nothing that we should want um that he can't or will not provide he knows what we need he's our shepherd uh, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. All of which I just see. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. For that, for me, is just in life general. Everything that I go through, all the trials and tribulations, everything that come upon me, everything that I bring upon myself, you know, everything that the devil tries to do or others try to do, um, God is with me. <coughs> and he's walking through it with me, <coughs> through the valleys. Of the shadow of death they can be just uh getting up every morning <laughs> you know whatever your shadow whatever your valley is don't fear fear no evil don't fear trust god he's with us right he's protecting us his staff his rod he's comforting us Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is good. God is amazing, you guys, and 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 we need to trust him. We need to lean on him. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's nothing wrong with calling out to him, Lord, I need you. Lord, help me. Lord, guide me. Lord, protect me. You know, Lord, you know what I need. And I thank you, Jesus. Lord, if I feel like this is hard. You know, God is not going to put more on us than we can bear. But sometimes it, it can feel over overwhelming. It can feel unbearable. You know, and that's when, you know, we reach out. Lord, help me. Uh, he hears us, right? 814. And it's one more I want to read. This is Psalms 91, which I understand is another powerful um, scripture in the Bible, okay? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Put all your trust in God. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. God is keeping us. He's protecting us. We're in his arms. We're under his wings. Right? He will shield us. Um... His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid from the terror by night, nor the error that flieth by day. Don't be afraid of anything. Trust God. He, he, he has us. Trust Him. He's the only one that we should fear. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth a noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come to thee. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Trust God. Keep moving forward. And it doesn't matter what falls. You're not going to get hit. It does not matter. He's going to protect us. He's going to protect us. Only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. We see what the wicked do. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy inhabitants. There shall no there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. I've never had COVID. Never had COVID. I have little things that go on with me. You know, uh, but in all honesty, for the most part, I'm pretty healthy. I'm pretty healthy. I'm pretty healthy. God is good. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. His angels are protecting us. He has angels around us, right? Not only is he protecting us and keeping us, he has angels appointed around and to us to keep us as well. Thou shalt, thou shalt tear it upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him.
With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God is letting you know <laughs> the things that he will do. We do what we're supposed to do. And he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Right? He says, I'm going to keep you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to guide you. I, I love you. You know, he does. Hold on. Turn off the lights and do something. Get ready to work, <coughs> guys. I enjoyed talking to you this morning. Please enjoy the rest of your day. If I don't talk to you again today, um, please enjoy your Tuesday. Please, 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 please remember to put God first. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching me. Those of you who do, please. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, all of those things, all of those things. I truly appreciate each and every freaking one of you. And again, please comment. Um, I truly appreciate it. Talk to y'all later. Bye now. Ooh. Busy morning. A lot going on outside too. Jesus. What they working on, but... <laughs> and on top of that, trying to listen to my music, gospel music while I work. Oh, I got to really do something about this head, y'all. It's not really feel like it. I hate when my toilet seat is up and when the tissue is not on the thing. Oh, Pudgy must have went out. Pudgy? Yeah. Oh, the front door unlocked. So, I'm on my break. First break of the day, and Jeremiah was heating up some food, so I figured I'd fix my plate so I can take this prednisone. I'm doing enrollment today. I'm happy about that. Yeah, these vegetables are so good. The way I cook them. There's corn, there's peas, there's carrots, string beans. They have a spiciness to them. So good. So good. Mix with the baked chicken that's falling off the bone. The meat. Now all I used for this was that black salt, um, what else? I think my chili powder, 
or maybe onion, I mean garlic. I think that was it. And they use a lot of different seasonings this time. And then, of course, you know, I added the onions and the bell peppers and all of that. It turned out very well, especially reheating it. All I needed is some barbecue sauce. I've been trying to stay focused as I work. You know, trying to, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. Just trying to stay focused and think. I've been listening to my gospel music. This has to be recharged, so I'm going to recharge it. And while it's recharging, I'll listen to um, my tablet, um, listen to some psalms, some scriptures, um, maybe even Joyce or um, Pastor Prince. need to hear that word. Our Father, I in heaven, thank you for this food. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. I forgot to say my grace. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't have much time. So this meal was my lunch, <laughs> early lunch, and I guess breakfast, because all I had for breakfast was coffee, um, but like I said, I do need to take this medication, so I'm eating this, and that's it. If anything, you know, if I get want to snack on something throughout the day, I can have a salad, hot dog, um, there's some cookies or um uh, what not in there to munch on if you need it, you know. But other than that, just gonna keep drinking my water. I'm glad I'm gonna do working on whatever they're working on out there. 14. I'm tired of hearing that machine. <laughs> I should have got a dog on spoon, dang it. I can't pick it up. All right, y'all. My break is over. Last two. Seven days. Today is day seven. That's when I went to the hospital last week. Sat last week Tuesday. I'm off these partners almost as of today. All right. Work is now over. So. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for having lunch with me. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later in the day. Bye. Whew. I'm so sleepy, guys. <laughs> and I think it's because I was up, you know, most of the night. I tried to lay down and close my eyes for a little bit. Oh, my lunch break. So sleepy. My car is the only way out on the street on both sides. Wow. Well, one on that side. Oh, guys, I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired. I'm gonna definitely take a nap. I've been listening to the word. Oh. <clears throat> Do y'all guys remember? I wait. Shall not, I shall not 
be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I was just sitting here and I was thinking of that. I'm listening to the audio. Ugh. Here. I'm listening to some audio of um, Psalms and uh, the book of Psalms. Um, it's reading the book of Psalms out loud for me um, so that I can listen while I'm working. And I noticed listening to Psalms chapter 1, you know, starting from the beginning, a lot of Psalms. Uh, so far from what I'm hearing they're doing a lot of <sighs> pleading with the Lord to help them you know Lord I've been nothing but good and I've been this and I I don't do this and I don't do that and yet they talk about me and yet they do this and Lord protect me Lord save me Lord um, this and Lord that Lord where are you Lord why are you not moving I'm hearing a lot of that, you know. <clears throat> I'm hearing a lot of that in in the earlier parts of Psalms, what they're reading so far, um, out loud, you know. Uh, I do hear where I do hear as it goes on, where you know you have certain prophets, you know trying to tell people you know make them aware you know do this do that you know trust God serve God you know um, don't do you know be good do good be right you know seek God you know serve God praise God so I am paying attention and catching on to a lot of stuff and I'm sitting up here and I keep going from hot to cold um, the heat I have the little heater plugged up here because I got chilly and now I'm hot <laughs> uh, I'm just going back and forth and it's really frustrating turn it off yeah so so I'm getting hot all my underarm itch <laughs> just from that heat little heat of being on just for that moment um yeah so I don't know, just listening. I'm going to continue to listen, you know. Um, but, yeah, I was just, like I said, on Psalms because Psalms has a lot of songs, you know, to me, a lot of worship and praise as well, you know, as, as we go on in the higher ends of Psalms. <laughs> the, the, as we continue on in the... Um, the go up in the numbers is what I'm trying to say um gosh that was hot <laughs> as we continue to read I mean I'm going to continue to listen um I think for the rest of the day to, I think for the rest of the day I'm going to uh listen to some good gospel some good Worship, you know, and it's hard to find. It's like I'm trying to find those back in the day good old worship songs. You know what? The Clark Sisters, I'm finna pull them up and listen to their album. That's what I'm finna do. That's what I'm finna do, and I'm finna praise and sing the rest of the day, <laughs> the rest of my work part of the day while I'm doing my job, right? Um, Cause I kept thinking, I was like, I'm trying to pull up stuff. I've been looking, at, listening to Kirk Franklin and just different songs and different whatnots, but not what I was like really looking for. It's like nothing is is you know really hitting. Um, and I just thought about it while talking to y'all. I'm gonna pull up some Clark Sisters. That's what I'm finna do. I'm finna listen to some Clark Sisters and get my praise on while I'm working also guys when I get off I'm gonna work on this app that I have on my 
tablet and it's a um, app it's a Bible app right and okay it's Holy Bible um, and I was able to click on the English version standard version so that I can better understand so for today October 17 right um, it says today's verse start your day with John 316 and I'm restarting this because earlier oh it's the same okay it says uh, here's today's verse and it's beautiful meditating music. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That so that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That is so beautiful. What, what love do you know is greater than that? Then next. It says, tap on the words that stand out to you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Love is a word that stood out to me. Um, eternal life. And should not perish. Write anything that comes to your mind. God's love is great. End in prayer and reflection. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. God's love is great. Amen. When's a good time for today's verse? We'll send you a reminder tomorrow. Um, 8 a.m. Continue. And then we have night prayer. So I'm not going to work on this until um, tonight. I'll work on this tonight. But so far I really like this because it kind of, you know helps me study a bit you know it helps kind of give me a little bit of, of guidance I guess 1140 look at me at the last minute trying to get up to do something I should have already done <coughs> ouch Ooh, my lip. Ow. Ooh, got a pain in my right leg don't know what that's about but it's hard to walk on it come on now come on Jesus Wait till I get ready. Even though I get up at the wrong minute. Wrong time. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that was a pain there, eh, y'all. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Look. That was a pain. Serious pain there. Eh? Take some. Definitely take on my pain pills. I don't know the time. I don't require or wish to be in any more pain <laughs> of any kind. Not even a little bit. Not even for a moment. Okay. Let's have a taste for a hot dog. A mustard. Ooh, I'm so glad today is the last day for this dog on. I'm not on this medication no more because I feel like piggy piggy. <laughs> piggy piggy. Now I know I'm late because it was already 11. I could have did this before I started talking to y'all, but it was a last minute decision. So I put my hot dog. I nuked my hot dogs in the microwave. All right. Lego, please don't let me fall. Please don't let my leg give out. Or, oh, that's an effed up, messed up feeling. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back. Break is over. 
Oh, okay. All right, have a little time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Clark Sisters and get my praise on for the end, until the end of the day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.